finally here, Tofu Mozambique. What a road trip it's been to get here and we're only getting started. Tofu is situated north of Maputo, approximately 500 kilometers in the Nyambane province of Mozambique. We have a Mozambique playlist on our channel. Be sure to check it out, like and subscribe for more. We've also explored the east coast of South Africa, which is essentially the same coastline as the Mozambican one. So check out the Isimangaliso Wetland Park playlist as well for more. We're going to explore tofu to the fullest extent visit the market, eat local food, try out almost every single eating place in the area, experience the beach and leave no seashell unturned. Join us. 500 kilometers to travel from Maputo, a 12 hour journey. We caught the Fatima shuttle from Fatima's backpackers in Maputo. It's basically an interprovincial bus that leaves from Fatima's backpackers, picks up passengers along the way and is part of the interprovincial bus route. It's important to exercise patience if you're taking this interprovincial bus route. It costs 1,250 mets, which is about 20 US dollars and about 350 South African rand. For the duration of our stay in this beach paradise of tofu, we found this place called the Tree House on Airbnb. I'll leave a link in the description below. It has a small walkway up onto a little deck into the kitchen, fully functional kitchen with a gas two plate kettle and a fridge, all cutlery and crockery, little seating area which leads out onto a deck slash balcony overlooking the neighborhood and neighboring guest houses. And the bedroom is a double bed, electrical power points. It leads out into an area where you can put all your essentials, clothing, we've unpacked a few of our things, left our luggage here, and an ensuite bathroom, shower and toilet. Also mosquito netting on all of the windows, including the two sliding doors onto the deck. There's also a fan, which is much needed with the heat and the humidity here. For the seven nights, we paid 2,500 South African rands. That works out to 360 rand per night or about 20 US dollars or 1,400 Mozambican Mets. Worth it, comfortable, everything you could need for an epic adventure in tofu. What a way to start our stay in Tofu. We stumbled across this gem of a restaurant. 
10 minute walk from our accommodation the aromas and the vibe we ended up having crab curry and a local Mozambican dish a seafood matapa for about $20 for the both of us Okay, so now we're looking for a supermarket here in Tofu. We spoke to a few of the local gentlemen. They've recommended a nice supermarket, which is a 15 minute walk from our accommodation. It's a very sunny day. Weather couldn't be more perfect, gentle breeze. And let's see what we can get at the supermarket. We are in a self-catering accommodation, so it would be nice to get a few essentials to keep us going when we're not eating out and to sustain us for the day. I'm glad we took this walk to find a supermarket because the ocean in the background, these views in the distance, it's quite a scenic walk through this beach town of Tofu. All you have to do in Tofu is ask one of the friendly local residents for directions we were shown a shortcut to what seems to be a little bit of a main street with a lot of shops and other little establishments so let's check it out be a bottle store a few supermarkets local vendors fruits and veg I think this is a perfect little place to buy all our essentials. I reckon we've hit the jackpot in terms of location. This wasn't even a 10 minute walk. And everything we could possibly need for our stay is here. We're just scouting the area, seeing what's for sale what we would require and then purchase some of those essentials actually a very nice vibe here nice and busy and bustling I suppose it'll get busier later as well absolutely no shortage of places to eat around here so having scouted a very small I could call it the commercial hub of tofu we're going to visit each of the individual stalls now and we're also looking for a place to watch the World Cup semi-final tonight so we'll ask around and see where it's at hey. We're not going to leave the local market without buying some pow. All you have to do is ask around. There appears to be a local network of business people here. All we had to do is ask for fresh fish. And we were introduced by the lady Veronica at the market for the fresh fruits and veggies to the gentleman over here. Let's have a look. The fish is getting weighed. Okay, so for about 1,900 metikaish we managed to purchase essentials for a few days fruit and veggies, papaya, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes uh, 
2.2 kilograms of kingfish and red snapper whole water cashew nuts and that's about 28 dollars uh, US dollars that is about 475 South African rands so that's what you're looking at uh, in terms of essentials and it's another way to support local businesses other than eating at restaurants so if you have self-catering accommodation in tofu this is a very very reasonable option first impressions of tofu this is tofu beach <laughs> the weather's perfect gentle breeze and yep, this is the first time we step in onto the beach. Join us as we step onto this immaculate beach for the first time. How pretty is this spot? We've just had a very, very short dip. It's pretty hot, it's like one in the afternoon. We'll have a bit of a dip later. But we're just going to relax. And that's all you really have to do here. It's such a stunning beach. Let's go for a short stroll. On this amazing beach. I've probably said it's amazing, stunning, beautiful so many times. But let's give you a real feel for this beach. Go for a little walk. What an amazing afternoon at the beach. We're walking back to the treehouse now where we're going to freshen up and start our evening. With the fresh produce and ingredients from the market earlier, Aziza whipped up a whole red snapper with a basil, tomato and green pepper sauce. This is going to go down very well with that pile. And I wish you could smell the aromas, but this is divine. Come across Diversity Scooper. He seems to be a live DJ and we're going to watch the football here tonight. It's going to be really, really exciting and quite a vibe. So we having a bit of snacks whilst watching the soccer. When they're in good possession, these are called crab castanias, and it appears they're like crab cakes, still in the shell, with a sweet chili sauce. Get there in the nick of time. So it will be a French corner. We'll be there first. Really nice atmosphere here at Diversity Scuba. It's half time now. And we're having mussels in a white wine sauce with some of that nice pow on the side. So we're leaving now. What an enthralling game. It's actually called Ocean's Friends. It's situated above Diversity Scuba. The snacks were brilliant. It came to about 1,180 mets, which is about 383 South African rands, about $18.50 for some light meals, snacks, and soft drinks so that's what you're looking at but really recommend it if you're looking for a good game or just a nice vibe it appears they do have a live dj now and again oh another beautiful morning we're heading down to the main tofu beach for a quick dip and to run some of our shopping errands at the local market again a few more essentials but have to have to dip in that beautiful water look what's behind me can't pass up that opportunity really. <laughs> Quick update. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we're walking away from the ocean and the new look. So we had an intense bargaining session, hence the new look. Really needed with the scorching sun here. Look what we have here. Fresh coconut water. So that was that. 
and then I got stung by a blue bottle and we spent all our cash that was supposed to be for the essential so we have to walk back to the accommodation treat the blue bottle sting and get some more cash and actually buy what we came to buy but yeah this is a really really nice dip the water is warm and blue and that's the cool thing about tofu is everything is within 10 minutes walking distance so you really don't need a vehicle you could walk and get what you need to get have a dip buy some goods it's really cool shopping take two today instead of the pal roll so to speak we have in the Portuguese rolls we all know about these Portuguese rolls so we had to try it so in addition to the Portuguese rolls we have in a budget mm. almost tastes like crumb chicken but without the chicken um, it's very nice to support the local bakers here and the food is delicious and you don't necessarily have to go to the restaurant so we are going to purchase one kilogram of calamari from the same gentleman we purchased the kingfish and the red snapper yesterday and that we've been quoted at 500 mets so on this street is where all the small cafes and eating places are situated it's around the corner from the shops which i showed you just now and we're actually going back to Ocean Friends to book a table for the soccer final this Saturday because it does get really busy there but hopefully we'll come around here and show you some of these places at night especially this place called Barco doesn't look like much but just wait and see how it comes to life in the evening calamari we just bought from the market lemon and garlic portuguese rolls flash fried with some olive oil smells divine and so fresh ocean right on our plate Calamari went down so so well. Thanks, love. <laughs> so we have our beach shelter up. We're back at Tofino Main Beach. Had a more of a dip this time. Uh, the blue bottle stayed away, which is great. And just soaking up the sun and enjoying it. Uh, this is all you got to do here. Are you enjoying it, love? What a relaxing day at the beach and remember that kingfish we bought yesterday here it is with sweet potato the kingfish is seasoned with a seafood rub which has parsley coriander leaves basil garlic salt amongst other herbs and a green salad to finish it off after the game of football this is going to be perfect Thoroughly enjoyed dinner, but when in tofu, go out and enjoy the evening. We've stumbled across this place called Sumi. And we're coming here to have some drinks and check it out. We ordered a frozen mango beverage with a dark chocolate tart. A good dessert to supplement that wonderful dinner that we had. Here we go, another day. Rained a bit this morning, but the sun has greeted us now. 
and as it goes we head into the market a few more essentials and after that we'll see where the day takes us Today we're buying some parrotfish and the lemonfish from Manuel <laughs> and some lemonfish. I'm sure these will be really, really tasty. Not hot. Hey, you try for Huh? Oh, I must. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna have a shot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not bad if you use a little bit. As a mm. I think we'll have a small bottle. Yes. Okay. Make fry. Make fry. Oh, it's very nice. Okay. <laughs> Look at the size of the pineapples here. I mean, that's literally like the size of my face. So, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be very sweet. These are giants, it's not like the ones we get in South Africa. So I'm really wondering if we're having legit pineapples in South Africa. Because this is the real thing. So here at the market, we stumbled upon a local eating place. This is the menu. I mean, things range between $2 or 40 Rand, that's South African Rands, for any of these wonderful, wonderful local dishes. And we're going to have a takeaway. It's going to come from here. Feijoal. Okay, feijoal, beans, carrots, cabbage, and what seems to be a curry sauce. And we're having a takeaway all for 150 minutes. As I said, like two dollars forty South African rands. Not the perfect day to relax at the beach. <laughs> That's all you got to do here in Tofu. In the distance, beyond the sign that says Casana Praia, in the distance is Tofino, just around that little punto. Um, so we're going to see if we can go there later. Tofino, I imagine, is the smaller beach, and. We're going to see if we can take a walk there before the tide comes in. The seafood we bought yesterday from the market the calamari specifically is the gift that keeps on giving. Aziza whipped up what is a calamari burger. Ooh, looks so good. <laughs> So you can experience live music here at What You Want Restaurant. Very chilled vibes. You know, drinks, cocktails, whatever you're looking at is about 380 mets, 105 rands, about 6 US dollars. Be sure to check it out if you want a quiet evening listening to some live music now and again. Bright sunny skies, white beach sand, blue waters. Yes, another beach day. Let's go for a dip. Ah, it's blisteringly hot today. 
31 degrees, but real feels 38. And that lemon fish is gonna be really, really good. We made a fish curry with sweet potato, pepper, and tomato. Some spices. And yep, the taste of the ocean right here on our plate. Perfect for this hot, hot day. It's super windy this afternoon, but even though you don't face the sunset, here at the main Tofu Beach, it lights up the beach with this amazing golden brown. And it's pretty special to see in person. Oh, we had such a good experience at Maracuja. Very nice vibe very well put together for 2,600 mets or about $40 or 700 South African rands. We had Spanish meatballs, peri peri chicken, a Thai salad and an aubergine batter with mozzarella and basil pesto sprinkled on there so that was Super delicious, super tasty, highly recommended, and a great, great dining experience. It's an overcast day today. Heavy downpours during the early hours of this morning, and there continues to be a slight drizzle. But we're going to have a slow day, <laughs> slower than the other days even. Take a short stroll in the market, and just relax today. Can't really go to the beach, but we're just going to soak up the area and experience it. Carrot fish, sweet potato mash, coconut bread from the market this morning. The parrot fish prepared with a lemon garlic sauce and seasoning, garlic and herbs. And the sweet potato mash from the sweet potatoes we bought earlier in the week. And this is the wonderful thing about the seafood here in Tofu. Especially if you buy them fresh from the market, you can taste all the different types of fish and have a different tasting experience each time you have it. It's FIFA World Cup soccer time. It's the final. We booked our table well in advance at Ocean Friends and we're heading back there. Last night we heard quite a party and a vibe coming from there so we hope that after the final, no matter who wins, that it's going to be Really, really, really cool. So, yeah. This is where the main streets, where all the bars and cafes and eating places comes to life here in Tofu. So we're going to go to a place called Branco's, which we showed you earlier during the day. And now we want to show you how awesome it is at night. Here it is. It's bound to fill up very soon. So we're going to grab a spot in this very, very, very quaint little eating place and see what's on the menu. Cooking the fat first, just to get a gold, crispy golden brown fat. This is master chef sound. Yeah. Mm. I'm taking notes, everyone. <laughs> You've got to be very gentle with the meat. Mm -hmm. You can stack it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was epic. The football was nail biting. 
and the dining experience at Branco's was really really cool I tried out the hot stone beef and that was quite an experience very succulent very good service for that particular meal it was 790 mets roughly 200 South African rands or about 15 US dollars so really worth it not bad at all and if you're looking for a little bit of a Cuban vibe Cuban cafe vibe in Mozambique check out Branco's but for now we're heading to Fatima's nest here in Tofu to book our return bus trip back to Maputo and you have to do that a day in advance uh, before your departure because you would need to book your seats on that one so let's go do that So the bus has been booked back to Maputo feeling a bit sad but you know we've really maximized our time here in Tofu and luckily enough we don't have to walk all the way to Fatima's nest the bus will pick us up here at Tofu Ma Hotel so really happy about that and glad that uh, that's in order but it's the same price for the return trip back to Maputo so be sure to book in advance the day before you leave if you're looking to use the Fatima's bus. Oh, it's an absolute perfect beach day. The beach and the water is really showing off today. And for lunch today we thought we would check out Casa Na Praia. Uh, at Casa Na Praia, it's right on the beach, why not soak up the views one last time, right? In a prior, we have in half a chicken that has been grilled on the coals with steamed veggies, cabbage, and salad, and a bruschetta with olive oil and tomatoes. The half a chicken was 700 mets, roughly 180 rand, or about say about 12 dollars, and the bruschetta was. 300 mets or about 80 rand which it works out to about six dollars or so we're gonna tuck into this now it's our final evening in tofu and we're heading out for dinner at sumi the japanese restaurant we're meeting up with some friends we made, they're from Germany and they're on a six month adventure. So they actually spent three months in Madagascar and they're now here in Mozambique and heading to Vilankulush very soon from Tofu. So it's really nice to spend the final evening with them and enjoy the last few moments in Tofu. And taking one last sunset, I think it's showing off tonight. Tofu is showing off tonight. Just have a look at this. Now time for some sumi. We're back from Tofu in Maputo, overnighting here. What a trip, highly recommended beach paradise. Local way of life, friendly people, people from all walks of life. An amazing experience. Be sure to check it out. Like and subscribe to our channel and see where we go next.